Hello, good day to one and all. This is Ms. A. Krishna Sundar, Assistant Professor, Department of English, KAHM Unity Women's College, Mancheri. Today, we are going to discuss the short film which is titled as Pearl. Before we get into the details of the short film, let's have a look at the biography of the director. This short film, Pearl, is directed by Kristen Lester and you can see the photograph of Kristen Lester. Now, Lester is an American director and this short film is produced by Pixar. As many of you might already know, Pixar is an animation production company. Now, the short film is highly autobiographical in nature and it speaks about Kristen's own experience in the field of animation industry. Now, the short film was released on YouTube on 4th of February 2019. So, if you look at this short film, which is having a length of around 8 minutes, we can in fact divide this into two parts. So let's have a look at the storyline of Pearl. So who is Pearl? Now Pearl is actually a ball of yarn and she is a humanoid. Now a humanoid is something that resembles human beings, something that possesses the qualities of human beings but they are not exactly human beings. So you can connect it with artificial intelligence, robotics, etc. because they act like human beings but they are not really human beings. So in the first part, Pearl joins an investment company named BRO, B -R -O, which can actually be an abbreviated form of brother or brothers. But again, one thing which we have to note here is that it is not termed as sisters. Brothers, which is actually something that connects with the male-dominated world. Now, Pearl is a humanoid and is happy and excited with the new job. So, she is recruited as a new employee at this place. And you can see the second picture where the identity card of Pearl is showcased. However, she is ignored by the male-dominated team. And one highlighting feature of this investment company, BRO, is that only men are working in this company. And Pearl is the first woman to be appointed in this company. Now, she is highly disappointed when they go out for lunch without inviting her. Her jokes are completely ignored. And finally, she decides to change her appearance. So in the first part, we realize that Pearl is disappointed at the way in which her colleagues treat her and just to become a part of the team, she decides to change her appearance. So in the first part, we realize that Pearl is losing her real self. Now let's see what happens in the second part. Pearl now looks like one of the men in the organization. If you look at the picture on the left hand side, you can see the transformation. The first picture is Pearl as she is when she joined the company. The second picture you can see the transformed Pearl because now she wears a power suit and she talks like a man. And when she does this, she is accepted by her team members. So now she is happy and she becomes a part of the team. Now it is at this point that a new character comes and the new character is named as Lacey. Now Lacey is again a humanoid and she is a new ball of yarn and she is yellow in color and she walks in as a new employee. Now initially Pearl ignores her but at the very moment, she realizes that she should offer support to Lacey. So Pearl offers a support system for Lacey and takes her along for the dinner party. So in a way, Pearl is acting like a mediator, a connecting channel by linking Lacey, the newly appointed employee, with the other men in the company. So in a way, Pearl is 
making the other men realize their mistake and making them realize the fact that the newly recruited lazy should be taken as a part into their team. Now, as the short film ends, we find a mixture of various people working in the company. Now, this includes balls of yarn, white people, black people, men, women. So, we can see a diversity within the organization and Pearl was in fact the reason for this change. Now, coming to the next part, what makes you think Pearl is a female. Now, first of all, it is Pearl's physical appearance, Pearl's color, which is pink, which is again a color that we connect with girls. Now, the way in which other men address her, and finally, the girly decorations on her table, which includes the crochet set, the small plant, the coffee mug, etc. Now, why a ball of yarn to represent a female? Anything else could have been selected, but the director precisely selects a ball of yarn. Now, if you look at the historical context, before industrialization, women managed the small-scale textile industries at home, which means women were more keen with needles, threads, yarn and knitting. Now, coming to the social context, a woman is always considered as delicate and gentle and a ball of yarn is something that can be closely connected with this ideology. Now, coming to political context, women even worked as spies during wars. Now, again, whenever women were employed, they were mostly given some kind of hidden jobs where their real identity never comes to the forefront. So working as a spy means they never come to the forefront. So all said and done, what is the final message given by this short film? Now Pearl fails to recognize her real self. Now we can see she gets into a transformation. She changes and she changes for the benefit of others. So this is the point which Lester is trying to drive home. Because you can change. If you want to change, you can change. But that change should come from your own self. You shouldn't change for the sake of society or you shouldn't change for the sake of the people around you. So she changes for the benefit of others, but finally she realizes she realizes her mistake and she changes to her own self. So one important point here is that we should not follow the stereotypical ideals. Now if you look at one scene in the short film, you can see a, a gallery of portraits where all men are dressed in the very same way with a power suit. All are white men with golden hair. They all look alike. So there is no diversity coming here. So this stereotypical notion is actually questioned by the director. So moving on to the quest and answers. Answer in a sentence or two. Describe Pearl's first appearance. Pearl, a humanoid in the form of a ball of yarn, joins the male-dominated company named BRO. She comes with her crochet set a mug and a little plant. Question number two, what kind of reception did Pearl get in her office on first day? Pearl was completely ignored by her fellow colleagues during the first day. They left for lunch without inviting her and ignored her jokes. Now question number three, what was Pearl's joke which made her colleagues laugh? Pearl says that the suit is 100% off at an apartment and her male colleagues laugh heartily for this joke. Question number four. How did Pearl change her appearance? Pearl knits a power suit for her from the restroom which is similar to the ones used by her male colleagues. Thus, she starts behaving like one of them with masculine traits and a stereotypical behavior. Question number five. Who is lazy? 
Lazy is a newly hired worker at the bro company, just like Pearl. She is also a humanoid who is a yellow ball of yarn. Answer in a paragraph. What changes did Pearl make in her style of speaking and mannerisms? She wears a power suit and starts acting and speaking in the way other men did. She starts cracking adult misogynistic jokes and uses an aggressive tone during the meetings. Thus, she fits in as one of them and encourages them to continue with their regular behavior at the office. Question number 7. Lazy's first day at the office. Lazy, the yellow ball of yarn, is recruited at the BRO and comes to the office just like Pearl once did. Just like Pearl, she is ignored completely by the men folk in the company. They leave her behind as they go out for the happy hour to the restaurants. However, Pearl realizes her mistake and recognizes her own old self in Lazy and acknowledges her. Question number 8. How did Pearl feel about Lazy? Just like Pearl, she is ignored completely by the men folk in the company. However, Pearl realizes and recognizes her own old self in Lazy and tries to help her. When the other men ignore her, Pearl invites her for the hangout and creates an atmosphere for the men to accept her as a co-worker. Question number 9. How does the film end? The film ends with Lazy being accepted as a colleague into the group of men due to the efforts of Pearl. The last scene, however, depicts a diversity with a mixture of people and humanoids working together in the same company. We find different colors of balls of yarn, including people who are whites and blacks. Thus, the short film ends with a note of hope where diversity is accepted and gender discrimination is not encouraged. Question number 10. Difference between the attitude of Pearl at the beginning and the end of the film. The two different thought processes of Pearl has been shown in the film. In the first part of the short film, Pearl tries to change herself and tries to fit into the group of men. She changes her identity and tries to imitate the behavior of other men. But in the second part of the film, she realizes her mistake and gets back to her real self and starts appreciating her real identity. Thus, the movie reflects on the theme of appreciating one's own identity and not yielding to the ideologies of the society. So moving on to the essay part, different themes in the film. So these are themes which we had already discussed initially. So there is gender discrimination coming. There is sexism, recognizing one's own identity, not falling into the trap of socially constructed images or ideologies. Now question number 12, character of Pearl. Now, she is a titular character, the heroine. She is a pink ball of yarn. She is a humanoid. You can also speak about how she was in the first part and how she changes, the change that she undergoes. And finally, the transformation, the search for identity and how she is really compassionate towards lazy. And through this compassion, she herself becomes more strong in nature. So moving on to question number 13, relevance of the film in contemporary society. So you can speak about sexism in today's world, gender disparity in workplace and finally how it is autobiographical in nature because this is all about Lester's own experience within the field of animation and movie industry. Now, some other movies with similar themes. So, one movie which you can easily connect with this one is a movie, a Hollywood movie, which was released in the year 2016 and the title of the movie is Hidden Figures. Now, this is about African-American ladies and how these three ladies became a part of 
NASA and how their work actually contributed many things to the space chase during that era. So you should definitely watch this movie. It's a beautiful movie. It's in fact something that is biographical in nature. Now the next one on the basis of sex which was released in the year 2018 is again a battle for equality. It is again about this gender discrimination. So in fact, this is a legal drama. This is also a beautiful movie. So with this, we come to the end of the session. So thank you very much for your patient listening. In case if you have any queries, suggestions or doubts, please do not hesitate to connect with me in my email ID. So thank you all. Thank you once again. Thank you.